Hey trainers, Caden here. Today I'm going to do a deck profile of the Zoric Trevenant deck. And to start off this video, if you like the content, then please like, share, and subscribe. And to start off the deck, we have a 4-4 line of Zoric with the trade ability. This is going to allow you to draw multiple cards, hit the weaknesses on the uh, Dust Dawnwings Necrozmas, and anything else that has dark weakness. It's also really good just in general with the trade. It makes the deck super consistent and hits some of the good weaknesses that Trevenant can't hit. So, so we have the 4-4 four, four line and then three Phantoms and then one of the Grass Trevenant. This Trevenant is for the Lycan Rocks and anything else that tweak to Grass because they have three trainers and you have a choice band on Trevenant then you're going to be hitting them for 240 damage. That's going to be a knockout. Even with a dumbbell on it, it's still a knockout. And it's a it's a really good card to hit the weaknesses of the some of the weaker. Like, normally, a Lycan Rock would just run through this deck. But with this Grass Trevenant, you can just take it, take out the Lycan Rock super easily. Then two Trevenants. We don't have both of them. We only have one of the Nervous Seed, but this is the right one. And it makes them do one more for their attacks, one more colorless. And it's also able to one-shot the Buzz Walls. And that's just super good. It helps. Uh, like, if they try to just steamroll on your Zarks, then you can bring up uh, Trevenant, and then you're taking a knockout pretty easily with 70. And if they have three on them for their big attack then that's 200 or if you have a choice band on it that's also 200 knockout super good attack then two trevenant breaks this is so if you need to put down some extra damage you can if you did like uh, 150 with Zorark and then you can place damage to hit 180 with trevenant Maybe on something like the the Necrozmas, the regular ones, then you can take a knockout on it. It also gives a plus plus uh, 50 health on the Trevenants, and that's super good. And that's just the two of card because you're not really going to be putting it on all your Trevenants. You're not going to have more than three in play, especially since there's only a three three line. You're not going to be having Mainly, you're going to have two. One for the active buzz wall, and then one for the bench in case something goes sour with the first one. Or sometimes just one of the Trevenants. Then one Mew. This is also for the buzz walls and the Necrozmas. Uh, it's there for the earlier rounds, and then this is for earlier games, and then. Still not right. That, the Mew's for the early part of the game and then Trevenant's for the late part of the game to finish it off. And then three Lele's to uh, help consistency and put Pokemon on the bench. Two Evo Sodas. It was originally just one, but there's just so many options. There's nine options with the Evo Soda and that's just, that's really good for just one card. And then <coughs> <coughs> Two field bars is going to help get rid of, they have like Parallel City in play, get rid of those or any tools that they have, Garbo Toxin, just get rid of that. Four puzzles to help get any card pretty much from your discard pile and that's also really good. Just in any Zorg deck, Puzzle of Time goes great in it because with the trade abilities you can just grab them super easily. One Rescue Stretcher. Originally, that wasn't in the deck list, but we added it. And this is the help if you have to get an early Sycamore and you don't really like what you have to Sycamore. Or if your Trevenant gets knocked out and you prize one, then you can grab it back. Or if they set up two Lycan Rocks and they knock out the Grass Trevenant and you just get it back. So it has a lot of use. So, and then... You can also use it for if, like, your Mew gets knocked out super early, get it back, put it back down, take knockouts. And if they can't deal with the Mew, then you're just going to steamroll 
all the buzz balls. Four ultra balls is pretty standard in every deck. Just help you get out your Pokemon and all that. One Acerola to help get up all the Pokemon that are damaged. And you can back with Puzzle of Time. Three Bridgets, so you're not prizing. If you prize two of them, then you still have one. And if you don't prize any, then you can just trade them away or Ultra Ball them away. Then two Cynthia's. This is going to be used for your Shuffle Draw. Three Guzmas. It's to help finish the game. Help end it, and if you get something stuck in the active, like a Trevenant, and you don't have all the energy on it, and you can get that out. One Mallow, pretty common in a Zark deck to help get your puzzle times or anything that you need with a trade. And then three ends for more shuffle draw. And most of the time, Zark decks are going to be running heavier lines of ends. It, I think it's pretty common. The Zark Garbs are also running three ends. And one Sycamore, this is just aggressive shuffle. If you tap a Lele and you have nothing in your hand, then you grab Sycamore and Sycamore for a fresh hand of seven. Uh, three choice bands. Originally it was two, but we added it. So we're not missing the knockout with uh, Energy Press. We're for sure hitting 200 on the Buzz Balls or the Necrozmas. And with the Necrozmas, you're probably only going to hit for 70. And you have to have the choice band because they're not going to have any energy on them because they're going to be discarding it to do a knockout. Two float stones. This is just gives your deck mo mobility. That has a two retreat cost. So if one of them gets stuck in the active and you can't find a DC, then you can retreat. And it's just, it's also very useful. Four DCs, standard with a Zorak deck. Three unit energies. This is so you can use Mew to copy an attack, a GX attack if you need to. Uh, you can use that one Psychic for Silent Fear. You can use the one Psychic for Energy Press and a DC. And just you can also use Tapu Cure GX if you really need to. So it has a lot of use, the unit energy. The one Psychic energy, it's just so it can't be enhanced hammered. It's also really good in this deck, just a one of. I do think maybe four unit energies and one less psychic, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. I mean, they've been testing with the 3 1, and then it's probably been proven, but I was a little curious whenever I saw the three unit energies and one psychic. So, this is the Zart Trevenant deck. I would play a game for y'all, but I don't have the unit energies or the other Trevenant, so I'm a little short on those cards. And just looking at this yellow, it's a little chaotic. Just all these yellow lines just right here. So, that was the Zark Trevenant deck. I hope you liked it, and be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes.